Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah Korn, and in today's video I have another pre-order that has finally come in from Seamail from Ami Ami. Super happy to finally have these Seamail packages coming in. Um, this one here is yet another Genshin Impact figure, which I am absolutely so stoked about. The figure in here is of my absolute favorite character in Genshin. Without further ado, let's get on into this. <laughs> So as per usual, just going to cut right into here. All right. So it is pretty freaking windy out today, so I apologize. You're going to hear the wind at certain points in this, um, but this is a giant box, and on top of this, I have another one that came in from Seamail um, that I'll be doing in another video here soon. So I need to get this box kind of like out of the way, so I wanted to unbox them right away. And tomorrow is my only other free day, and it's going to be super rainy, gloomy, gross, and I will not have the lighting to film. So apologies for the wind you're gonna hear in the background every once in a while. So here is this month's Ami Ami card. It is absolutely adorable. I love this one. Super, super cute. Again, I'll do a close-up of this later. I love their little penguin outfits. So cute. So guys, the figure that I got in here did come with a bonus. And right on the top here, I am seeing the bonus. And as soon as I flip the box over, you're going to know what figure I ordered. All right, there we are. Yes, guys, I have the Zhao figure from Genshin Impact. Super excited. Again, Zhao is my absolute favorite character in the game. I have him on my team. I got him like his first banner and I got his weapon. I absolutely love Zhao. I have never taken him off my team since getting him. Even if the boss, like Animo doesn't really work that well against, I still have him on my team. Like I refuse to take him out of my team. I love him. And this bonus is super pretty. So it's like one of those clear posters. I have one like this that I had in another video, which I'll link up above, of Raiden. That one's much bigger, obviously. But it is that like plasticky poster kind of thing. Oh, and it looks so good. Ah, I'm so happy to have this. And then on the back there, just has the details of like Spy Apex and everything super pretty. Um, it does say not for sale there, so this is an exclusive that comes with these figures. Alright, then I'm just going to pull him out here. So I'm just gonna try and I think tip it over the side, just because like as you can see here, like they didn't even put any packing paper in this one, because this figure fills this box perfectly. So I'm just gonna kind of tip it over a little bit and try and slide it out this way. I think that's probably the best way here. All right, and I'm gonna toss that over there. Okay, so here we have the box and tissue paper. Honestly, just gonna tear into that. And then we have Zhao. He looks so good. As soon as I saw uh, this up for pre-order, instant pre-order, I was so quick to pre-order that. Um, again, I absolutely love Zhao, so I'm a bit biased there, but his base is so freaking cool. You guys know, if you have been subscribed here for a while, or if you've watched a few of my videos by now, you know I love a good base, and this has such a good base. It is so freaking cool. It has all of his, like, animo spears and everything from his ult in the game. Literally so good. This is by Apex, which Apex also did Kaching. Similar thing with her, they did her ult um, with her lightning and everything, which looked super, super good. I'll have a link up above for that video. Um, absolutely love that one. Apex, like, they kill it. They kill it every time. Um, every single figure I've gotten from Apex, I absolutely love. And so I'm super excited to get into this here. Um, but yeah, he looks super good. Just showing you on the side there, you can see the wind spears and everything. Like, I'm so excited. They included his Yaksha mask and everything. It's so good. 
I'm, I'm so stoked for this. The box is obviously quite a bit smaller than Kaching's. Um, that said, Kaching was quite a bit taller with her effects uh, than Zhao here, but I'm so glad to have him. But because his box was smaller, shipping wasn't stupid. Um, again, as I said in the beginning, he was on a boat for a while, so I used Seamail to ship, and it was only like 30 bucks. Like it was 3,000 and like 90 something yen or whatever. It was, it was like 30 bucks to ship, which I'll take that. I will take that. <laughs> All right, guys, so getting on into the exact details of this figure here. He is the Genshin Impact Zhao Guardian Yaksha 1 7 scale figure by Apex, of course. He did come with that bonus that I mentioned at the beginning there, and he retailed for 21,900 yen, which is really good, honestly, especially compared to my last video, which was that power figure. That was quite a bit. Um, this is a really good price, I think, for a figure like this. Again, thank you, Apex. <laughs> um, you did release in August. Obviously, he's been on a boat for a while, um, so I'm just getting him here in October. With that said, guys, let's get on into the close-ups of the box here, the close-ups of that bonus, and the actual unboxing. So as per usual, I'm just going to take this knife out. Looks like there's only that one little bit of tape on this box here. Sliding out the blister pack there. Which already guys, he looks super freaking well done. Super excited to open him up in just a second here. All right guys, so at the bottom of the box was of course this instruction sheet, which I'm going to need to assemble this in the proper order here. Which they have English on the side here. And then just Japanese on this side. All right, now we're just going to Snip around the edges as per usual. Careful not to nick any of the parts here because like the ends of the primordial jade wing sphere are quite close to where I'm cutting. So I'm going slow. But here, these spear tips are also very close. Top layer blister pack. So the first thing I am going to take out is the primordial jade wing spear, 
which is super freaking well done. It does feel pretty delicate, so definitely want to be careful not to, you know, break this. But it looks super well done. I have this weapon for him in game. All right. Then I'm going to take out these two animal spears, which again, so well done. They look so freaking good, guys. I absolutely love the gradients and the colors that they chose. They look so well done. They do feel quite fragile though, so again, I'm gonna be careful putting these down here. Do not want to break them. And then of course, we have Zhao himself, who obviously looks freaking phenomenal here. So here we have him with his Yaksha mask, and his hair is done super well. Of course, Apex so far has done super well for all of them. There is some tape holding his necklace down, I believe. So just taking that off. Here it's kind of loose, as you can see. Um, his belt's awesome. The tattoos, the color gradients, and the shading on his outfit. And just how dynamic it is and how it's flowing. It's not just stationary. So well done. All of the little spikes in his hair. I love this figure. There is nothing I'm seeing wrong with it so far. His pose is super good. Oh, I'm so excited to put this together here. All right, then lastly in the box here, we have the base, which is freaking awesome. Absolutely awesome, guys. Look at this. I have to be careful. I do not want to drop this. It is so freaking cool. Again, more animal spheres. These ones are already in, as you saw there when I grabbed it. Then I do have to place those two extra ones after. They have this giant metal peg, which thank goodness it's a big metal peg that we're putting that into because I do not want anything falling and breaking. It feels pretty solid, the space here, which is good. And the rocks and everything and how it's breaking apart, which you know, when you're playing Zhao, that's like pretty much all you do is plunge attack. Um, so this whole thing makes so much sense and it looks so good. The bottom there, you've got the Apex logo with the Genshin logo. I'm obsessed. Let's get on into assembling him here. So first up, we're going to be using this spear. Just putting it in the hole. It is in the back here. As firmly as we can. They are quite slippery. You don't want to snap them. And then we have this one here. We're going to put it in this area. Like that. All right, so then we're going to take Zhao here with the one hole on his foot here. Try and get it in here, minimally touching everything that's around here. There's a lot. Carefully we'll lower him on there. It's hard with all these things around. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks amazing and I won't have it any other way. Okay, there we go. It's hard though with these spears. As you can see, his outfit's kind of touching this one. The back one, the back part of his outfit kind of wants to touch. Um, but here we have him all assembled here and he looks absolutely phenomenal.
All right, guys, so my final thoughts on the Xiao figure are that I absolutely love him. He is absolute perfection. All of the details are so good. I'm so happy they didn't go with a boring base for this. He looks amazing, and I'm so excited to put him in my shelf here. Let me know what you guys think of him down below, but there's literally nothing I could say is wrong with him. He's literally perfect. I'm so happy I picked him up. Alright guys, so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Um, I obviously absolutely love this figure, as I've loved all of my Genshin ones so far. I'm so happy that my Genshin collection is growing. Genshin, I'm still playing it pretty frequently, though I am hopping on Star Rail as well. Oh, I stopped playing Honkai Impact the third, uh, due to the, the new stuff that's coming out. I'm not liking this this new arc they're going for. It doesn't have the original characters and I'm, I don't know, since Kiana left, it's not really been the same. That said, I still loved Honka Impact up until this point. Um, but right now I'm just kind of playing Star Rail as well as a lot of Genshin. The new update's awesome and I am so happy to have another figure in my collection. I am still waiting for that official though. Hopefully, you know, they actually get on that. I, they finally released the prototype. So here's to hoping that she'll be on pre-order it sometime soon, please. Fischl is my second favorite character in the game. So I would really love that in my collection. Let me know what you guys think down below. What's your favorite Genshin figure so far? Mine is definitely this Zhao figure so far. Um, but again, all of the ones that I own, I'm absolutely in love with and my Genshin shelf is the most popular thing on my TikTok and I'm really excited to show everyone over there this new figure. If you guys want to see more of me, feel free to go f check out my TikTok and my Instagram, both linked right down below, where I'll of course be showing off this Xiao here as well as a bunch of my other figures in my collection and of course some cosplay content. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.